Hello everyone, what is an embedded system? Before I explain an embedded system, it's really important to understand what is a system. A system is an arrangement in which all its unit assemble work together according to a set of rules. It can also be defined as a way of working, organizing or doing one or many tasks according to a fixed plan. For example, a watch is a time displaying system. Its components follow a set of rules to show time. If one of its parts fail, watch will stop working. So we can say in a system all its subcomponents depend on each other. Now let's get straight into the embedded system. As the name suggests, embedded means something that is attached to another thing. So basically embedded system can be defined as a computer hardware system having software embedded in it. Embedded system can be independent or it can be a part of a large system. Technically, embedded system is a microcontroller or microprocessor based system which is developed to perform a specific task. For example, a fire alarm is an embedded system, it senses only smoke. Other embedded systems can be found in routers, gateways, washing machine, dishwashers and so on. Ok now, embedded system has three main components. Hardware, microprocessor and microcontroller are the hardware of embedded systems. Typically, they include a CPU connected to other basic computing devices such as memory chips, power supplies and LCD displays. Application Software Embedded systems software is typically designed with a specialized programming tools that enable the machines to work. Application software allows the users to perform variety of tasks that can run on an embedded system by simply changing the code installed in an embedded system. Real-time operating system, these are not always included in embedded systems, especially smaller scale systems. Real-time operating systems define how the system works by supervising the software and setting rules during program execution. They act as an interface between hardware and software which manages the application software. All these components work together to perform specific tasks, they rely on microprocessors microcontrollers, memory, input-output communication interfaces and a power supply to function. Now let's talk about the structure. The basic structure of an embedded system includes the following elements. Sensor, it measures and converts the physical quantity to an electrical signal. Analog to digital converter, it converts analog signal sent by the sensor into a digital signal. Processor, it processes digital signals and store them in a memory. Digital to analog converter, it changes the digital data fed by the processor to analog data. Finally, actuator, it compares actual output to memory stored output and choose the correct one. Now the most important part, types of embedded systems. There are many types of embedded systems, but the most common ones are mobile embedded systems. They are small sized systems that are designed to be portable, for example, laptops, mobile phones, smartwatches and so on. Network embedded systems. They are connected to a network to provide output to other systems. Examples include home security systems, point of sale and ATMs. Standalone embedded systems. They are not reliant on a host system. Like any embedded system, they perform a specialized task. However, they do not belong to a host system unlike other embedded systems. Examples are calculator, mp3 player, digital cameras, home appliances such as refrigerators, washing machines, microwave and so on. Last one, real-time embedded systems. They give the required output in a defined time interval. They are often used in medical, industrial and military sectors because they are responsible for time critical tasks. Examples are traffic control systems self-driving vehicle controls, aircraft control systems, medical devices, and patient monitoring systems. Now you must be thinking about what are the benefits of using embedded systems, right? Well, these are the benefits. Easily customizable, low power consumption, low cost, enhanced performance, and a few more. Okay, so in a nutshell, embedded systems can be used in a variety of ways. For example, they are being used in robotic science, defense, aerospace, networking and the list goes on. Alright, so with that, this brings me to the end of my video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more tech videos.